Hey everybody, Justin Singer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely create and run multiple accounts on Facebook or really pretty much any network, social media, ad network that you want and how to do it the right way. This is definitely a video that has been requested a bunch and this is kind of answering the question, how could I have multiple accounts or how could I keep my Facebook ad account safe. You know, you see a lot of people who get their ad accounts disabled or, or their social media accounts disabled. It's not uncommon to have these issues and it's not uncommon to even lose your entire ad account and not be able to get it back. A lot of people face that issue and it's one that you might be facing right now and hopefully one that you'll be able to get past. And this is really the safe way to run things. And I'm gonna show you over the shoulder exactly how to do that. but. A popular strategy or the kind of the best strategy is to create multiple accounts and keep everything separate by using anti-detect software. Kind of sounds like a, a really complicated or advanced name, but it's very simple. It's really about just keeping your browsing separate, right? So you're going on Facebook ads, you're going on your Shopify store, you're going on your Instagram ads account for, let's say, one store. Then you want to switch to, uh, you know, an ad account for another business and keep things separate, right? Keep everything disconnected, right? It's a very powerful and proven strategy to keep your accounts safe. Or even if you wanna have multiple ad accounts, or even if you just have one store, you might wanna have multiple ad accounts. You wanna keep everything separate, right? An anti-detect software, I'll show you exactly what I use, will do that. And there's no way to do this in Shopify. There's no way to do this in Facebook ads. You need to use a unique solution. It's a piece of software that is incredibly easy to use. I'll show you how to do it. Very easy, you don't need any prior technological skills. Most importantly though, it's gonna allow for creating and managing separate accounts. Okay, so you'll have everything separate. You won't have things like pixels or cookies tracking you for, you know, let's say Facebook to identify that you have multiple accounts, right? because that is something that they don't like. Same thing goes for pretty much every network, Etsy, Amazon, Instagram, eBay, or you're supposed to have one account. So if you, for whatever reason, need multiple accounts, Maybe you don't like the fact that, you know, with Facebook ads, you only have one account and they shut you down, you, you know, you're pretty much screwed, right? So you want to have backup accounts. This is a great way for keeping those. Okay, so the way to do that is using Go Login. You've probably heard or at least seen people doing this in terms of people that get past their account suspension issues. This is what I use and this is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. I'm going to show you what Go Login is. It's that anti-detect software, but really when it comes down to it, it's really just basically a profile system and a browser. You'll see when we go in there. But you'll basically select the profile and, you know, let's say profile one you use for your Facebook ads account, okay? Profile two you might use for your Google ads, right? Profile three you might use for your second Facebook ads account, right? All these different profiles, when you select them, it just simply opens up a browser that allows you to, you know, just go to those websites, do what you need to do, run your ads, manage your store, and it just keeps everything separate. Very powerful. So this is Go Login, and this is really, again, that anti-detect browser. It's gonna allow you to run multiple Amazon accounts, Google accounts, Facebook accounts, you name it. You'll be able to streamline creation, management, and security of all these accounts, all in this one software. Very, very powerful. And you see, it's used by just anyone who's doing, you know, big time advertising. They're using something that will allow them to have anti-detect, and Go Login is that option right here. You see the massive reviews, 4.5 on Captera, 4 plus stars on Trustpilot, 4.5 on Software Advice, fingerprint management, separated profiles, be able to log in with Teams as well if you have multiple members in your business. Anonymous surfing, you know, to the extreme. This is not anything close to, you know, going to an incognito window. This is so much deeper. This truly hides your digital uh, fingerprint from these networks that are looking out for things like multiple accounts. So being able to surf anonymously with anti-detect browsers, the whole idea is that you'll have separate profiles that will be built in to be separate. Inside of this platform, this is exactly what the platform looks like. I'll open up mine, you'll see. You'll have a list of all these different platforms. When you press run, literally it's just gonna open up a browser. It's gonna look and feel like Google Chrome. You're gonna be able to do everything right inside there and you could even integrate proxies as well. If you really wanna get advanced, right? There's a proxy section I'll show you. Then you can kind of have different login locations every time you go in there. But really big for affiliate marketing, really big for social media marketing, especially for paid advertisements. 
right? Ecom people, drop shipping, right? A lot of people very similar to you and I are using GoLogin. I've been using it for a while uh, because like I said, ad account issues are not uncommon at all. You need ways to get around them and get around them you know, consistently. You see over 350,000 users on GoLogin now. So this isn't just a small thing that is you know, used by uh, Shopify entrepreneurs. Anyone that's really kind of doing big time paid advertising has a need for something like this. So uh, you can go ahead and click download on top. See the link directly below this video. Um, I'll jump into mine over the shoulder. You'll just see how easy it is. It's nothing, you know, nothing complicated at all. We're just gonna be browsing any website. In fact, we're probably gonna go on to things like Facebook or to Google ads and run our business through there or Shopify, right? So you go ahead and press download. You know, it works for Mac, it works for PC. You get the uh, software and then you'll be able to run it. Okay, so I started a brand new account over here. You get a seven day free trial. So you're gonna be able to see exactly what I'm showing you right now when you go ahead and install Go Login. And automatically it's gonna have these different profile names over here. And uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what they're called. You could edit them and you know, the important things are the settings for each of these. Where you're gonna be able to come over here and go in through and of course you could name them whatever you want. You could add notes as well. So you know, you might do something like uh, Facebook ad account uh, number one and then maybe put the store name or whatever. Anything that you want, it doesn't matter. This is just for your own kind of safekeeping. But what I like to see is really quickly like, okay, here's my ad account one, here's ad account two, here's Google ads, you know, et cetera. And I can just kind of go through here. Uh, you could do proxies, right? Without getting too complicated, proxy is basically a way to hide your location, hide your IP address, right? This may be useful. It depends on really how hard it is for you to keep your accounts up, but they have this capability on here. So they have that. You know, if you've been banned like a million times from Facebook, you might want to use a proxy probably make things a little bit easier. Uh, really cool things over here as well in terms of adding cookies. So this is a cool thing. Some ad networks um, or some strategies will have you add cookies in here. Some ad networks will have you basically create cookies in a browser. Um, this is a way for them to track you, right? So if you add cookies, you can basically say, okay, you're replicating where you were from another browser. There are some instructions on how to do that online. Like if you're, uh, let's say you're you know, transitioning or taking someone else's ad account, you could actually take their cookies as well. Everything is really thought of out here, maybe a little bit more complex than probably what we'll need in terms of just keeping our Facebook ads separate. Uh, more things over here in terms of uh, profile overview and proxy location and all this information, you could change things like that, but um, really, you know, for our case, don't really worry too much about that. Really just about naming them and keeping them separate first. Okay, you can go ahead and buy proxies here if you wanna go ahead and kind of figure that out. Uh, you could add profiles as well. Right, we can go ahead and basically just add them same way that they'd be shown over here. The whole idea of what's gonna happen though, and you see that we do have some proxies on here. These are just kind of free sample proxies. This would say if we logged in, LinkedIn would think that we're from France. Okay, in this case, uh, in this case, CoinList would think that we're from the US. Okay, well, we're gonna come over here, for example, and Facebook ad account, we're gonna click run. Okay, and it's gonna go ahead and download and prepare, but look what happened, right? It's, they call it the Orbiter browser, but it's basically just Chrome. Okay, and I'm gonna just go ahead and I like hiding these, but you know, Go through here and guess what loaded? A browser, right? We can go to uh, any website we want, right? So this is just a web browser, just like any other browser, okay? So what you wanna understand about this is that this browser is running in an environment created by, it's just a little advertisement in there, by GoLogin, right? In fact, it says stop over here if we wanted to stop it. This will stop running that browser. It will close the browser. It will disconnect everything. So I'll come over here just to make this a little bit. A little bit more uh, usable here, okay? Imagine we have two ad accounts. Here's our main one. Here's a new one that we created as a backup, right? And hopefully our first one works great. We never have any issues, but we have our backup over here. Right? And at any time, we could safely log into either one of them and things would be separate. Right? Same PC, same laptop, doesn't matter. Right? We come over here, we run ad account one, it's going to open up this browser. Okay, it remembers where I was, so it loads that last page. You know, we can go to uh, our business Facebook account, log in, everything is totally separate inside here. Okay, we come back over here, we press stop. Okay, now it's time, let's say we wanna go into our second ad account. 
and maybe start running some warm-up ads over there. We'll click run. Guess what's going to happen? A new account, or I'm sorry, a new browser window is going to open. Okay, it doesn't remember anything that we did before. Right? It's not in our history. This is totally separate from what we did last time. Right? There's not going to be any continued cookies, logins, nothing for Facebook to track you between these two accounts. And you would imagine you could have a whole list of them over here. And this is the way that everyone keeps multiple accounts safely running. As far as Facebook is concerned, these are totally separate users, totally separate browsers, totally separate um, uh, kind of browsing history, totally separate cookies. Right, very powerful here. And it's just as simple as clicking add profile. Right, go ahead and we see uh, Facebook add account three. Right, go crazy, do whatever you want. Right, we have all this information now over here. We can go ahead, we can go in the settings and change things. We can go and click run, of course. It's going to do the same thing. So these are totally separate. And that's the power of Go Login. Different pricing plans depending on what you need in terms of your how many accounts and what you're going to be doing here. Worth every penny. This gives you the peace of mind to know that not only can you have ad backups, but your ad accounts are in the safest possible setup. So that's Go Login. Again, you see the link directly below this video. I highly recommend it. Every single big uh, uh, ad entrepreneur or ad, uh, I'm sorry, or store that's running ads uh, is using this because it's totally needed nowadays. So hopefully this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, talk to you real soon.